What would it be like to travel through time? It's something we've all thought about before, but we usually just write off the idea as fantasy. Well, there actually is scientific theory that tells us that time travel is not only possible, but actually happens. We all live within the confines of a space-time continuum. Every single event occurs in a three-dimensional space and at a time, which is often referred to as the fourth dimension. But these coordinates can never be measured absolutely. We can only measure things from a reference point, and there are an infinite number of reference points in the universe, and they are all in motion all of the time. Think about it. If you're walking at three miles per hour on a moving train, you measure your speed as three miles per hour. But that's only according to your reference point, which is on the train. If someone is standing outside of the train, they would measure you as moving three miles per hour plus the speed at which the train is moving. So what does this have to do with time travel? Well, it shows that time and space are not fixed measurements. They're much more fluid than that. Let's say an airplane flying across the US at a constant speed is measuring time using a light clock. A laser attached to the bottom of the plane shoots a beam down at a mirror, which then reflects the beam back up. From the plane's reference point, the beam shoots straight down, then straight back up, and this event takes one second. But if you were watching this occur from the ground, you'd see the beam traveling in more of a triangular path, covering more distance. We know that speed equals distance over time, and the speed of the plane and of the light beam is fixed. So if distance is increasing, it must mean that time is too. The moving plane is experiencing time more slowly than the unmoving reference point. And this actually happens. When you fly, you age more slowly. It's a teeny tiny fraction of a second more slowly, but still, more slowly. And the closer an object moves to the speed of light, the slower time will move for that object. So if you could catapult yourself out to space at crazy fast speeds and then turn right back around, you would, in theory, return to a future Earth. As for going back in time, it's a little more complicated. Some have theorized that objects could travel to the past if they were to accelerate faster than the speed of light. But considering that at this speed, time stops completely and an object's length shrinks to nothing, it doesn't seem very likely that you'd survive the trip.